guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio. Jimura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, 
You must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Warren. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues. This Nothing else. Alone. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No. Now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Rhine has passed away. We learned of Mayor Rhine's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Rhine's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor. And so, what are we going to talk about yesterday?
Roger. Probably ah. some cyber psycho again, but I'll handle it. Say, any update on my overtime bonus? Dispatch? Suspect has disappeared. All units on site continue searching the area. Zero. I repeat, code zero in this area. All units resume normal duties. Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. I gotta find out why Night City's most courteous has upgraded to hit and runs. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said shut up! Kako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then.
ready? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, doll. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! She was last in line. Well, now I'm in the front. That a problem? Uh, no, no, it's fine. What's gotten Hello, into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Um, seventy-seven double eleven zero one zero ninety-six. Incident report on file. Confirmed. Ninety-six at the end. It's a public enemy, government target. Your identity has been established. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one 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 zero one zero nine six? Cream accident, I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamain. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed as well. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganex. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Tuck an NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. 
Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. Try to find it. Let's get you back to safety. Garage. By driving through the streets. Well, yeah. Afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow. And try not to hit anything.
mistake! We certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. Well, but yeah. still, Ever I thank she's you. Working, she's been having these attacks of like. Sometimes she sleeps two days straight. Chum, if my mom slept for two days straight, I call trauma. Death. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. Don't be forgetting all kinds of. <laughs>
finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. since we talk, since when Jackie passed away. What are you doing? How do you think? My son is dead, but I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesucristo, you lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi.
table, we got to get rid of him. Really? He's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall? V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. I should say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. It's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes, too. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. 
Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. This'll be... fitting.
Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a... a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little... janky? It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And now aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish, a dwarf shark, like Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this. Nice still. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah, perfect for Jackie.
Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? I'll see you at the Coyote then. Go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He'd bought some goods, klept from Arasaka, 
Top secret. Priceless. A lizard. <laughs> and... And I remember what he said then. That... That I came from a place where... Everyone's family. So... He must be too. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, He loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching... Bet just about now he's flipping him all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. You sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. Well, Gonna miss him. torn up after you die. There, Chica. Don't go starting something, eh? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Me too, Chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. Proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? 
No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why uh, not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Pour you another? For Jaquito? Listening's a skill, you know. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong ah. woman. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, y you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V, I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Need you to focus now, okay? We let's honor his being memory. here without Jackie. Hmm? Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar, in his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor, for Jackie. Amen, sister. I'll have another. Have as many as you want.
sharp and snazzy, Josh. Gotta represent, right? Well, well. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Ruled Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location.
How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Thank mm -hmm. you. 